Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 5 of The Outer Worlds on the Xbox One X. We are exactly where we're at, the end of part 4. And we're going to head off and do a couple of smaller quests and then we're going to crack in and get our damn ship off this rock, people. So we've got a fistful of digits and the long tomorrow. We're going to try and get those done. But where's this one? It's quite... Oh, it's in that section. Hang on a minute, why can't... All oh, right, so you can, uh, you can only teleport to the blue ones. So, I think we've got... So this middle section is where that other one is. So let's change over to... Oh, not that one, that one. All right, so we need to go to there. And then we can bounce across to here, maybe. Well, well we need to go to there and then run around, I suppose. Maybe. Let's do that. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame. You can't highlight one of the the three when a quest's got more than one marker. So, we want... Kind of facing it, aren't I? Need to try our sexy ass new gun out as well. Aye. Oh, that's it, yeah, because we've already been up here by the looks of it. Yeah, this is where we found Zoe, isn't it? So we've already cleared it out. Could you believe it? Oh, hello. Here we go. Whoa. That's a gun, isn't it? <laughs> Looks like these guys come back then. Oh, I like this gun. Yes, I do. <laughs> Level up time! Why do I feel like I'm just going back to Zoe again? Whoa, hello. Well, He did. Guillermo del Toro, whatever his name was. Who is he? He's steady. Oh, didn't see you. The fuck? Brilliant. Well done, Steve. Right, well that's one done. This guy didn't want to take part in the fight, did he not? Uh, I've got a problem. I've got no health left. Shit.
God damn it. I'm gonna die here. Anything that does health? I think the answer is no, and that's why I've run out. Well, that didn't do anything. Oh, feckin' hell, those big gorillas are down there. Well, I got a bit cocky there and I was just letting myself get hammered. I thought I had loads of health and I did not. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> There's marauders everywhere. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, fucking hell. How far back's that going to go? Is it checkpointed when I did Gil Toro or I've got to do it all again? I bet you I've got to do it all again. God damn it. Oh, seven minutes of my life, I'm not getting back. You hiding? Oh, no. It's actually checkpointed exactly where I died. Well, that was lucky. God damn it, you can't move for bloody marauders now. <laughs> what the hell? Right, let's just... Take a wee minute here. So hang on a minute, because there was the other thing was here, wasn't it? I think that we needed to get. Yarp. So let's have a proper save. And let's level up people. Yeah, I mean, Dodge is still pretty hot because there was quite a few running up to me and smacking me with melee weapons. Reduces the armor parts and weapon parts needed to repair your... Yeah, that's it. We need that, don't we? Keep going on this, I think. Oh, we've maxed that out. Can't go any higher. I thought I put some on... Oh, yeah, it was. It was lower, wasn't it? It was on 13, I think. 18 now. So, let's do a bit of leadership then, maybe. Or oh, more tech.
All right, we've got a point. After some unsanctioned adjustments, the workbench is slight alignment tool. All right, okay. Yeah. You take better care of your weapons and armor than most people. Pl down 25% weapon armor durability loss. Yeah, that'd be handy, wouldn't it? Do it. Durability loss lessened. Well, we're seriously low on all the things we need to heal. We also ran away from all the things we'd killed. Oh, bloody marauders again. They're everywhere. Okay, keep them quiet. This could end really badly. Oh, it set someone fire, didn't it? That didn't work. Oh, you little fucker. Come on, Paul Marty, what are you doing? Woo! We made it. Did Paul, <laughs> Paul Marty just kill him? Would he just die on his own fire, maybe? All right, things are cooking up. I think taking cover is also a massive plus when you're in a battle. Steven. I've just been running in and standing in front of them is my biggest problem. We can handle this. Whoa. Nice one. Oh, nice. Exploding barrel. See? Start using surroundings, Stephen. God damn it, this gun needs uh, mending. Don't want to lose this. That was quick. 
What was that noise? Also, I notice under the under the little bit where I've got two health now on the top left, there's three little squares underneath it now, and the middle one's selected. Oh, hello. Assault rifle. Have a bit of that action. Bypass shunts. It was worth using the unlock thing for that, I think. See how badly damaged that item is. Oh, is it? Now, oh, maybe it's red because it's damaged. Is that what it is? Conditions very low. Can't repair nothing. So... Give it a whirl. It's got a sight on it at least. Right, hang about, where's this marker? Here we are. Here we be. Emmerdale, I mean Emmerdale. Why do I feel like it's all going to kick off in here? Forks windows, order now. As beauty and... Yes, that word. To your frontier home. Verisimilitude. Pardon? Oh crap. I had a feeling. It's a great gun, isn't it? We did it! Yay! Go team!
Bandits. Marker is right there, isn't it? Gotta go around. It's barred from the other side. There's a shocker. One now. Look at us. They must be pretty bored just wandering around these buildings all day doing now, but you know, walk around the same room. <laughs> then suddenly someone comes in and just shoots them in the ass while they least expect it. Assault rifle, another one. What I might do though is Heals 25% health over two seconds. See, I thought I was picking up loads of Adreno, but I don't seem to have an awful lot of Adreno in the... I think... I think I'm struggling to r figure out how I bounce between the different types of health options at the top left. A because I've got four adrenos there. Oh, is it because I've not equipped them? Is that what it is? So that's. Should be three, four of them. Three of them. Ah. Now we're up to four. Oh, is it just because I've... Uh, it's because I've got two of three filled in, that's why. Steve... So I've got a third one, I could put something in. Hey. Okay. So how much are... Are there only 50 each? Alright, that's better. So we're back up to 16 heals. That'll do for now. I must admit, I was not expecting this particular level to be a big one like this. It's nice though. God damn bar! Oh, that's that's uh, unbar. Excellent. Shortcut back. 
I don't think we pulled that, did we? Hack 30, uh... Well, that was a bit harsh. Zruk. Yeah, picked up the first aid kit. Oh, cool, blimey. Something nasty happened in here. It's armless. There we go. Experimental anthracillin. Turn in the medicine. Uh, okay. Oh, I've picked up a revolver. Might be having a look at that in a second. Oli Oli Oxen Free, is it? It's all coin, isn't it? Okay, so we got into the. That's. Yeah, we didn't get into this one, did we? But from the other side. Will that be the way out? Come on, Parvati, let's see if we can find a way around to this other place. Well, to be fair, it could be the thing that I can't... You know, the lever I can't do anything with. This thing here could be that. Or maybe we can drop down. Actually, we've not been in there, I don't think. Toilet. Ah, here we are. We be here. It's a big one. You're fast. First aid room key. I thought we already had that. Oh, sword off shotgun. Is that not what I've already got though? Check that in a second. I need to have a look at our weapons because I've got a revolver, which is damn right better than the pistol. I'm sure. Ooh, hello. Now we're cooking people, we're getting loads of bits. I think I'm over I'm encumbered. God damn it. Right, hang on. We need to dump some shiz. Well, I'm pretty sure we could do without the pistols. They're not worth that much. Are they? Well, 7.5. We can dump that. Break. Oh, we can break them down, can't we? That's how we got our weapon parts for fixing shiz. 
Let's get into that action now. I think some of the ones that have got electricity on them we can use for... Yeah, chance to get a mod. Shot cannon. Ooh, have a look at that. Level 7 gun. Right, we'll swap that for... Well, that's a level 2, so it's not a huge amount better, but still, as a basic gun, it's better than the thing. It should use light ammo, yep. I think we shall put that on for the... Well, we could put it on for the Uber pistol at the minute, because I don't think we've got enough to heal it, have we? Ah! Now we're getting weapon parts. Having a bit of that action then. Thank you. I still don't know what that red symbol is. Maybe, it, maybe it's meant to be there. Fire or bleeding or stagger, I don't know. Someone can tell me, perhaps. All weapons are at 100, apart from that's at 98, which is fine. Our weight's down to 84, which is fine. Well, we don't need all that bloody armour, do we? What we picked up... Ooh, what's this? Hmm... Just the same, innit? Lockpick 5, heavy, lockpick 5. What does this give us? Armour parts. Seems reasonable. Heavy weapons plus five. Well, um, well, we use them a couple of heavy weapons. Our oh, stealth comes down minus five. Power armor. Sometimes I've got a little spanner next to them. Oh, right, it's because they need repaired. Got it, okay, got it. Right control armor. Light armor 7. Right, so the armor's taking up most of the weight in it. Seems reasonable. Need to repair that. Defo! I say, we've not tried out the... Try the pistol out. Oh, nice. Quite smart. Marvellous. Oh, do you know, the more I'm playing this game, the more I'm feeling the vibe, people. You pick up stuff like that, and it's like, yes, please. Feast your eyes on the great frilled Manticween. Right. I feel like maybe that's something we need to unlock, because... Uh... Well, 
Well, that could be the lever at the door, couldn't it? Did we go upstairs? I think we did. Ugh. Oh, um, a guy to mechanical engineering. It's for the young lad, isn't it? Right. That's off. Let's get the hell out of here. For God's sake, people, it's 37 minutes into the blooming Let's Plays. <laughs> I'm supposed to be getting my ship off this rock. Still got two bloody bandits to get. I mean, we could do the main story and come back for the bandits. It's not the end of the world, is it? I don't suppose. That was well worth doing, though. Picked up some good shiz in there. Blooming neck fires. Bandit that way. Who are we returning that to? Somebody in Edgewater. However, I think we'll go back and see this lad first, given the Give him the other manual we picked up. Finding one of those manuals? Hi. Today's your lucky day. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? Part one. Found it in the community center. Look at that. Building a computing machine out of spectrum potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. I'll let you know find the others. Sure. I'd be glad to take them off your hands. Gotta go. It's interesting, isn't it? A little side green one there, look. The innards of a canid examined, thank you. Internal anatomy. I feel like I've maybe been picking up grenades or something as well and I'm not using them. Not found anything explosive yet. All oh, right, it was this dude. I need to talk 
Martin Abernathy. Mingle, go try the cantina. All right, grumpy pants. I have that medicine you wanted. Let's see it. Don't keep us waiting. It's all yours. Sweet life given nostrum. The first hit's always the best. Scratched together all the bits I had around the domicile. It ain't as much as you deserve, but it's all I got. Fair enough. I risked my life to save yours, Abernathy. You're wringing the blood out of me. Here, <laughs> you can have whatever's in my pockets. All right, then. It's quite a lot of that. And you get XP each time you persuade, of course. Been eating nothing but salt tuna for a year. I know how you feel. Fistful of digits is what's left that we actually want to do here, otherwise we just do these two. How far away are they? Oh. What? Oh, it's just the door, isn't it? It'd just be the door of the outside world, that's what it is. Might get something sweet out of this, though. Constable's given us this job to do. A couple of big ass guys. In fact, was it not the other big guy that I got? That big... No, I don't know. I feel like I got something good off him, but I probably didn't. Probably just got a finger. Uh, thank you. Doc Maybell. Bertie Cotton. Yep. Oh, fuck no. That's those big guys, isn't it? <laughs> I think we were probably better off the other side of this. Let's just have a look a second. No, he is just over there, isn't he? might be easier to get to him from the thermal plant. I have to, have to go through those bloody monsters. Mind you, it might take more damage off him now, right enough. Leveled up a few times. Terror on the Monarch with Ruth Bellamy as Halcyon Helen. Spencer Woolrich as Chief of the Savages. Featuring real monsters from the doomed world. I say. Right, Bertie Cotton. Six and a half a dozen, isn't it, I think? He's down in these zero parts. I'm ready for this. Oh, we're pretty good at this. You took one down. Ha! 
Hunting rifle. Sweet. Fuck's sake. Uh, why does it always come back to these fucking things? <laughs> I don't want to fight them, they just kill me. Yeah, bloody loads of them all over the place. Shit. Oh, hang on a minute, it's not... Oh, God's sake. It's taking me back, in it, rather than taking me to the guy. Fucking hell. He's over there. That's what I hate about those markers. You can't distinguish one from the other. If you could just put a custom marker down, it would solve the problem, but I can't see any way of doing it. Well, that's Constable Reyes. Doc Mabel. We're going to have to go up and round, I think. It's not going to let me do that. Is there a way around this way? Here they come. Oh, really? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> the fuck are these things? Get off me. Thank you. Not sure I did an awful lot there other than shoot into the air. So much for the sneak attack on Doc Mabel. Hey, come on, Pavati, help you get. No harm done. Blood on stick. Could give that to Pavati. She seems to be doing a lot of meleeing. What be up here then? Oh, big box. Little box, cardboard box. Marvellous, right. Come on, Parvati, it's time to get off this damn place.
I think we can actually fast travel back to our ship as well, which is particularly handy. Oh, no, we need to go to the geothermal wibbler wobbler, don't we, first? Decide who it is that we're going to screw over, as it were. <clears throat> Constable Reyes first. Friend of mine died. Sheriff's office. Still in Something to report. I'm here to turn in a bounty. We pay by the finger. What do you have for me? Individually, yeah, uh, all of them. Gil Antrim. Real name, Guillaume. Duly processed by a freelancer on behalf of Spacer's Choice. I remember him. I was just a kid last I saw him. Shame. I'll just need your signature here, 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 and here. Got any more fingers for me? Yep. Mabel Burgess. Age 37, right or left-handed? Let's just say, no longer applicable. I remember Doc Burgess. Conducted my physical every fiscal quarter. Guess she couldn't keep her hands off her patient's medicine. Still one outstanding bounty. If you've got a finger, I've got the paperwork. Aye. Right. Here we are, Birdie Cotton. Cause of death. Let's just say overwhelming physical trauma. Bert was the local preacher before Max took over. Always was quick to remind us that we all get what we deserve in the end. Well, that's all three. I must remember to requisition some more fingerprint to ink. Here's all the compensation you've earned, plus a bonus. Thank you. What's this, Junior Deputy Constable? You've done such a bang-up job hunting down our former workers that I thought it only proper to deputize you. Congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. How did so many of your people end up marauders? Let me stop you there. It is official Spacer's Choice policy that all marauders, regardless of prior affiliation to the Spacer's Choice brand, no longer qualify as our people. That doesn't really answer the question. Marauders are folk who lost the will to keep working, wandered out into the wilds and gave into their baser instincts. Not everyone's cut out to work in Edgewater. Some turned deserter, some turned marauder. None of them get my sympathy. Yeah, I heard one of your workers shot himself. Eugene. Uh-huh. I recall young Eugene. Good kid. Nice smile. Fussy about his health, though. Took a little too much adrenal time. That'll do a number on your brain matter. Says so right on the warning label. Violent psychosis is a well-documented and legally accounted for side effect of adrenal time. All right. Our work here is done. A friend of mine died a couple weeks back. Still ain't passed. That's it, so we're not bothered about the Frightened Engineer. Uh, well, yeah, because that's the... Oh, that's interesting. I must have botched one that I can't do now. Oh, no, I'm not. Retief the... Oh, that was the tree. Oh, right, I thought it was a sneaky one, but it wasn't. It was the Cache of Medicine. Cool. So, the Long Tomorrow, the Frightened Engineer is just one more book, which is most likely hidden away somewhere nice. But we're going to crack on with the the main quest now, I think. Let's get our ship fixed, people. Who do we help? Do we help the people in the Biotanical Center or the town? I don't know. I don't know. Thing is, people in the town are quite nice people. It's just the boss that's a dickhead, isn't it? <laughs> and I've just been made a deputy.
Does Parvati have a, an opinion? Speak to her. Yeah. Perception. Thomas seemed very fond of you. All right. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kind of. <laughs> that boy's head over heels for you. I'm just glad he's alive. That he's okay. I mean, when Mr. Thompson said he was fired, we all expected the worst. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. You mentioned something earlier that I wanted to... Uh, you mentioned something I wanted to ask you about. In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? You sounded worried. Sorry. I know it's none of my business. You're not a drinker? Strong drink makes me sick. And it makes me real sad. I start thinking about things I oughtn't, and then... Well, never mind that. You got better things to think on. Sorry. Don't apologize? Oh, that's what I do. You'll tire of it soon enough. Alright, let's get back to it. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Look at that. Plasma piss... Oh, plasma rifle. Bloody hell. Take a bit of that action. Well now. So I'm the fences, there you go. Right, I think uh, we need to go back in here, don't we? That's what it is. The fences are de electrified. Time to make a choice, people! And down and to the right, I think. It's decision time. Uh, why do I feel like I've gone the wrong way? Because you are one? Is it not down at all? What on earth, Stephen? How can you have forgotten this already? Is that up here and to the right then? Aye. Sorry, folks. My bads. Okie dokie. Let's have a save. All right. Redirect power. When life gives you lemons, emerald veil, geothermal plant, a space choice, blah. Are you sure you want to continue? Continue. Redirect power to Edgewater. Redirect power to Botanical Laboratory. Well. Botanical. Whoa. Choice made. That's going to cause some chaos. Divert power from the geothermal plant. Done. 
Return to read. Alright. I've got to go and face up to him now. Why am I returning to... What? We're done it the wrong way around. I thought I did it the right way around. Not far off level 7. Watch us go into the town now. Everybody starts shooting at us. Traitor! Titus Androidicus. Blood and revenge are hammering in his head. Still seems to be power, I think. Um, oh, maybe not. It's all looking a bit dim, isn't it? Yeah, all the lights are glowing on and off. I did this last time. Oh, there it is. You want to know what gets my bile churning? Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? It's not personal. I need your power regulator. I don't owe you an explanation to teach you a lesson. Yeah. Hey. Is that right? I'm dying to hear this. Please, educate me. Adelaide had the right idea. I had to make. I had to make you see that. You're all slaves to space's choice. I'm liberating you. Life is full of betrayals. I'm just the most recent one. You're a horrible person, and you deserve everything that's coming to you. I see. All right, then. Glad you got that off your chest. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. Yeah, I can't intimidate. I'm not high enough. What's going to happen to Edgewater? Edgewater's dead. Our cannery's dead. Adelaide's deserters are never coming back. Space's choice will shut us down before long. Some of us will die of illness by then. Some will move on. Some will starve. And as for me, I will tender my resignation. Whereupon I shall be processed and then duly imprisoned for gross incompetence. I'm sorry about all this read. Why would I say sorry after doing all that? Level 7 it is. We've got to shoot our way to it now, haven't we? Fifteen thousand XP was that? Or 150,000 XP was one or the other. Well, might as well... Well, we can't do range anymore. We're fully whacked up on that. We can do more tech. Might go a tech up to 50. Hmm. 
And then we can concentrate on some other things. No perks this time, Stephen. Easy. Didn't mean to do that. Well, Parvati seems to be having enough of my choice. Alright, let's go. Time to get to the ship. Sealed? Whoa. How come Thompson Reed's dead? I didn't kill him. I'm trying to remember where Thompson Reed's office was. It's in here. Thompson is aware of your concerns and remains committed to guiding Edgewater into Sealed. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be activating it, does it? Well, that's slightly unfortunate because I think his key got us into his safe or something in the. Mister, got my hands full at the moment. Make it quick, please. Hmm. Ah oh, well, maybe we can come back later. Right. Oh, that's a joke. That. Uh, okay. Back to the ship. Well over the hour mark, and we still haven't left the planet. Come on. <laughs> We're going, people. We're going. I want to see what it's like when we leave. All right. Still got Parvati, I take it. Yep. Is this your ship? Oh. Yep. Oh, my star ship. I know, right? So handsome. I have a name yet. What's your drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship, working on a real engine, belonging to a proper crew. Now you are. Water won't last another season without power, but that don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's Choice. Company expects me back at my post. No. Those deserters left Edgewater behind. Nothing keeping you from doing the same. You've never been on a ship before? I 
I've worked on the occasional supply coach in need of repairs. Once I built a little model craft out of spare parts, but Mr. Thompson found out and I had to take it apart. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. Absolutely. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? I think it's awesome. I'd be glad to have you along. Pick a cabin, it's yours. <laughs> I guess Reed won't mind, what with them being dead and all. <laughs> you just met me, why would you want to go into space with a stranger? I'm not interested, provide a goodbye. I'd be glad to have you along. Pick a cabin, it's yours. Yes! I mean, uh, thanks. You won't regret this, ma'am. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. <laughs> Come on then, let's do it. Well, whatever it is. Certainly I'm looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. I can't stop thinking on Edgewater, Captain. I'm glad the deserters are going to be all right now they got power, but what about the town? All those people. Well, I tried to do the right thing and... <laughs> eh, we'll leave that for later. Right, come on. Captain, I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. <laughs> You're welcome. What can I do for you, Captain? I have the power regulator. Do you know how to install a power regulator? Yeah, I know what I'm doing. Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. I'll be back. Ooh, we're going into space! Woohoo! 30 G's! Ticket to anywhere. Get your very own ship. Something you need? I just thought you were going to be excited about the whole power regulator thing, but never mind. What can I do for you, Captain? I've installed the power regulator. Our systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Let's get out of here. Woohoo! Here we go. Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. I mean, if each area is that kind of size, it's just right, isn't it? You're not sort of lost in the wilderness or anything. If you've got multiple planets to... from Dr. Phineas Wells wonder about we have received a communication from dr phineas wells have we indeed good i've been waiting for him uh, good i've been waiting to hear from him ah there you are hale and hearty and captain of your own ship I Aye. you're putting the unreliable to good use shame about her former captain horrible way to die yeah squish how are you feeling by the way i lost track of you in that cave back there experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage perfectly normal side effect of thawing I assure you. Get to the point, Phineas. I've been feeling a little lightheaded. Also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. 
I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Fine, I'll go have a word with Gladys. <clears throat> Why do I need a nav key to land on a planet? Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kelly. Okay. <laughs> What's stopping me from leaving Halcyon altogether? Without a skip drive? Good luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. Okay, let's get to Gladys. Uh, about this Gladys person, how do I know I can trust her? Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. Can't I land somewhere outside Stella Bay? In theory, I suppose you could land your ship in Cascadia. And, in theory, I suppose you might survive the experience. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me, talk to Gladys Kelly. All right then, Gladys it is. Excellent, I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. I'll put it to good use, thank you. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Very good. Got it. I think. The unreliable navigation terminal. Ah, okay. So that says over here. Oh, that's Groundbreaker. Why is it called Groundbreaker there and unreliable everywhere else? Anyway.
Phineas's lab. Typhon. Hephaestus. Olympus. Monarch. Yeah, it's Monarch we have to go to, isn't it? Eridanos and Scylla. It's the only one I can fast travel to anyway, apart from the one we just came from, I think. Well, there's Scylla. Yeah, that's where we've just come from. In order to revive your fellow colonists, stranded hibernation, Dr. Wells needs you to travel to Stellac, yeah. Oh, sorry, Stella Bay on Terraform Moon of Monarch. Monarch is in to interdicted, pardon? Interdicted, interdicted by the Halcyon Holdings Corporated board. So you'll have to... Sp Procure a nav key through unofficial channels. But yeah, I, I'm not to go to Monarch straight away though. I thought I had to go to What's the Face first. What skill are then? Is that where we started? I didn't listen to what he was saying, did I, at all? Oh, that's Cascadia. He said don't do that, didn't he? That's why. Skilla! I think that's what he said. Could be completely wrong. Destination reached. Scylla. That was quick. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I'm in the mood for some entertainment. <laughs> Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? All right. Play my favorite song. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. That's not my favourite song. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favourite song. Tell me a joke. Why was the chemist sad? Because all her beakers are gone. <laughs> As all right. Wish, Captain, I must comply with all direct orders. I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. Right, well I guess we shall figure out... Transition to skiller landing pad, yeah. Probably would make more sense for me to watch back my own video after I've done this and... Uh, <laughs> just check that skillers where I'm meant to be, but I think it is. Yeah, so this is my hiding spot now. I was looking for a place that was quiet. I figured the kitchen would be louder than the hold, so here I am. Cozy like, ain't it? What do you think of the ship? That's in pretty good shape considering how hard Mr. Hawthorne ran it. It's a Yakita LHA 120, A2 model, I'm pretty sure. The Block 2 design scooshed in extra cargo space but didn't change the stock engines. Probably a touch underpowered, huh? Accurate in all particulars. I conclude you are Edgewater's board certified mechanic. That's the ship's computer. It's not intelligent, but it does a good adaptation. <laughs> Apparently, Ada is the one who actually flies the ship. Fly by wire is pretty normal. Or, leastways, that's what I read in the trades. 
I've never been on a real ship before. Hello! I am not a board-certified mechanic, but my dad was. He taught me all he knew. Do you understand? Speech recognition is one of the many skills I have been programmed to simulate. You're not simulating it, you're doing it! I asked a question and you answered it. I am gratified you consider this facsimile convincing. What do you think, Bavati? Is it safe to fly now that we got the regulator? I don't see any holes in the hull. I'll take a good squint at her, make sure everything's tip-top. But I think we're cooking with plasma torches. You can do that, you know. My dad taught me how to make grilled cheese sandwiches with a plasma torch. Mostly, yeah. I lived in the maintenance office near all my life. Mr. Thompson never let me forget how funny that was. You worked beside your father your whole life. Except for my schooling years, I was always beside him. Or tied to him. He used to carry me about in a sling when I was real little. When I got older, he set me to sorting tools and parts while he worked. Later, he taught me simple fixes like busted crate latches. Oh, sure. Like what? Okay, I think we're done, people. We're like an hour and a half into the Let's Play, and I just got carried away with conversation. So, well, it looks like we've... Why is it pointing me to this still? Yeah, Gladys. So the marker's on my ship, isn't it? Anywho, we shall figure it out in the next part, people. Bit of a slow end to a rather good episode, I think. <laughs> <laughs> there you are people it has been an honor and a privilege serving for you once more in the outer worlds on the xbox one x and i shall catch you on the next one folks take it easy bye